Rachel. Welcome back to my channel in my tiny basement soap shop. Today we are in my outhouse bathroom and we're gonna make three easy DIY gifts that are great for birthdays, Valentine's, Mother's Day. Super easy, affordable, so let's get right into this. So the first one I'm gonna do is an essential oil roller or like a perfume roller. So let me turn this down a little bit so you can watch what I'm doing here. So I just buy these little amber glass rollers. You could do like a blue one too. The whole point of it being dark is just to keep the sunlight from getting in so the essential oils don't break down as much. So I reuse these and I bought this little tool that you can use to pop these back off. Just jam it right in there. is like 10 to 20 drops of essential oils of your preference or whatever the person might like that you're gifting this to and you just drop that right into the tube so I will just kind of roughly count this I'm using passion it's a beautiful blend by doTERRA let me read to you what's in this actually because it's like one of my favorites it works so nice as a perfume cardamom cinnamon ginger clove sandalwood jasmine vanilla bean extract, and Damiana. So yeah, this is, this is a good blend for sure. All right, I got every good last drop out of this. And then if you feel like that's enough, so kind of, if you can see that, that's about right for how much you would want in there. Oops, not that one. And then the rest of the way, you just fill it up with like fractionated coconut oil, avocado oil, something like a light oil, jojoba oil. This is just a massage oil that I've had for a while that I'm trying to use up. So that is obviously a nice light blend since it's going on your skin. So you just fill it up most of the way and then press this little roller on top again. It takes a little muscle. Shake it up a little bit, roll it on. You could put a little sticker or label on it if you wanted to say what was in it and you are done with that project already. Next one, same idea with the dark glass. I have these little tiny, just like two ounce spray bottles. I would recommend maybe getting something a little bit bigger, but this works great as a perfume or a room spray. And the same concept here, you just drop in some essential oils. I tend to do about 30 drops. And I'm going to do this more as a room freshener today. So I'm using two different blends from doTERRA. I have friends that sell doTERRA and I, I just love a lot of their stuff. And it's pretty high quality, even though it's a little expensive. So yeah, this one is Citrus Bloom. One of my friends gave this to me for my birthday that uh, she sells doTERRA. It's wild orange, grapefruit, lavender, Roman chamomile, and magnolia. And this, yeah, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to do about 15 drops of this. And then I'm going to do some abode, which is called the refreshing blend. And this one has lime, litsi cubeba, cassia, lemon eucalyptus, tea tree, arborvita, cilantro, lavandin, and lemon myrtle. So this is definitely cleansing. Like it smells very clean. Okay. So I have a little over 30 drops in there. You could do as much or as little as you like. And then I just fill it up the rest of the way with water. And because you're using water instead of oil to mix this with, obviously oil and water don't mix. So all of your essential oils are gonna keep floating back up to the top on this. So before you use it every time, you just wanna give it a shake. Or if you're planning on giving this as a gift to somebody, just make sure you put a little label on there that says shake before use. And then of course you might wanna tell them what's in it just in case they might be allergic to something. But yeah, I reuse this and make room sprays all the time. I love it. I have them in multiple rooms in our house. So this is a wonderful, easy, cheap gift idea too. Well, it can be expensive, I guess, if you buy expensive essential oils, but you get the idea. And then the last one is a little candle. This is going to be the easiest candle that you will ever make. 
All you have to do is put some oil in a little heat resistant jar. And I'm not gonna fill it up too high there. I'm just using some olive oil blend. It's gonna be like a mix of extra virgin and pomace. Um, so it's a little bit cheaper that way. And it doesn't matter. I've used vegetable oil before, avocado oil, pretty much the oil doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of peppermint essential oil. When it burns, it's not quite as strong. So mix up those essential oils in there, just not too much. And you, I don't know if I would use fragrance oils in something like this, just because those can be flammable. I would stick with just a little bit of essential oil and that's it. And then the coolest thing ever, these little floating wicks. In my soy candle video, if you've seen that, I show you how these work. It's just a little bit of cork so it floats and then it's silver on the top to make it pretty. And then there's this little short wick that you just stick through it and you want it to be about a oh, quarter to a third of an inch like that. And then just pop it right on the top of that. Ta-da! You have a candle. You're all done. So let's light this and give it a test really quick. And it might take a minute for it to start drawing the oil up through. But the idea here is this this wick doesn't actually get consumed. All it does is consume the oil from underneath. And so it lasts forever. Like all you have to do is keep refilling the oil. I've experimented and it lasts hours and hours and hours and hours. So yeah, this is a great little light source if you like don't have electricity. So I always have some of these floating wicks on hand just in case we need to pour a little oil into a mason jar and have a little light source. We of course have lanterns and flashlights and stuff like that too. But this is just kind of a fun, rustic, old school idea that is so timeless and so beautiful. So if you're going to give this as a gift, all you need to do, I mean, you might have to be a little careful. It's okay if the oil gets on top of this, like it'll still flow back up to the top. But I just put a little lid on this like that. And there's the label. So after turning this and tipping it around, let's look how it looks now. Not bad. It still mostly stayed on the top there. And I didn't even see, yeah, the oil didn't even really get over most of it. So anyways. All right, so there you have it. Three quick and easy gift ideas that pretty much anybody would love. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one soon.